you guys, TK with TK Tech News. And you guys asked for a uh, tutorial on the IMEI writer uh, or on how to use it, or you guys couldn't figure out how to use it. And I'll go over a brief tutorial. It's like 30 seconds. It's really that simple. Um, if you don't know how to use ADB, don't have ADB installed, uh, don't know what Android debugging is, this is probably not for you and to walk you through all that it's going to take hours you need to have Android SDK installed on your computer on your C drive you have to know how to use fastboot you need to know how to use ADB and you know how to put need to know how to put your device in diagnostic mode if you can do all that keep watching it's very simple basically you put your device into diagnostic mode once your device is in diagnostic mode um, you want to click this little button right here called mode select. You want to make sure that modes, the mode that you select is the normal mode. Once you select that mode, it's very simple. You want to go up here to ports and then it's going to give you a list of ports or devices that are connected. Select the one that it is. If it's Samsung, it'll say it's like Samsung serial port. If it's an HTC, it'll say HTC Diag. Um, select that port. And you've already set what you want to do. Uh, you've already set the parameters. So the next thing you want to do is go into set. And then you can do two things. You can auto generate an IMEI, which will just generate a new IMEI for the device, or you can manually input the IMEI. That's if you wanted to input a, like a donor IMEI to make it look like a dumb phone, uh, to use it on a dumb phone plan. This does not require a box. Let me preference that. I've had people ask, does this require a box? No, it's software based. Once you do that, you're going to click save, and you're going to do something real simple here. You're going to click this right button. Boom. When your device is connected, it's going to give you the new IMEI, and it's going to say completed. It's going to be green. If you don't see a port showing up, it's because your device is not in diagnostic mode. You have to make sure your device is di in diagnostic mode. The best thing I can do to tell you about that, if you don't know how to do that for a GSM device, is Google it and look for ADB commands for Diag mode. Um, some people that have Synergy mod that need to do that for CDMA devices also do the same thing in ADB uh, with an ADB shell um, through C drive or whatever wherever you have your SDK installed so it's real simple if you have a question it's a basic question or you're having a problem with ports you leave a comment down below if you have a generic question on it uh, or where to get the software also leave a comment down below it is a free application currently in Google Play you can get it it's called Unblacklist uh, which has this software. It does require a PC. It's just put into Google Play so it's easier for you to download and easily transfer over to a PC. So with that, we'll see you guys in the next video.